Brigade! Atten Hut! Sir, the brigade is formed. Very well. Midshipman Josiah Beckwith, front and center. Mr. Beckwith, reporting his orders, sir. Very well. Midshipman Beckwith. You are guilty of lying about the cause of your absence from formation on the 25th of August. Therefore, by order of the Honorable Paul Morton, Secretary of the Navy, you are hereby dismissed from the United States Naval Academy. You have dishonored yourself, you are a disgrace to this institution, and you are unfit to bear the title of midshipman. Lance Corporal, escort this man off the yard. Honorable of men are fit to serve as officers in the United States Navy. No problem assigning you another week, Mr. Branch. Start doing your duties, or you'll be here till Christmas. Aye, sir. Hey! What are you doing, boy? Watch where you're going. I'm sorry, mister. I'm just trying to get the hang of all these ropes. What? Are you slow? It's the Navy you did what they're called lines. He didn't mean any harm by it. It was an accident. What are you, a sissy too? Can't speak for yourself? I should put you in a report for negligence. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you. I won't do it again. What's your name? My name's Minor Merriweather. Will Merriweather. You're right about one thing. You bump into me again, and you will be sorry. Now get back to work. He sure is an unpleasant fellow. Don't mind him. He's still recovering from the hangover that got him here. All right, how do I do this? Boy, you are slow. Here, watch me again.
Well, looks like you and I are in the same hall, Merryweather. Indeed, for I'll sleep so much better knowing that you're close by. <laughs> <laughs> looks like someone has a sense of humor. I'm sure we can fix that. Probably not. Merryweather here was one of the radiest plebes in his whole class. Is that true, Mr. Merryweather? You can come to the academy to play stupid games, Branch. Now, if you excuse me, I'll we'll finish up packing. Well, I didn't come to the academy to play stupid games either. Looks like me and you are going to be having a lot of fun this year. I'm looking forward to it. doing in here? Working? What are you doing here? My duty. Room inspections. Oh, again? This is the third day in a row, Branch. You were gonna start getting suspicious. What are you getting at? I'm just saying that it might seem as if you fancy me. More than is socially acceptable. Yeah, I was beginning to think that myself. <laughs> oh, you two think that's funny? Well, you know what I think is funny? What's funny? That you pay a worker to clean your room and uh, you can't even pass inspections. Dust. <laughs> Failure. I'm sure the option of the question. Why not funny? Oh, go to hell, Ranch! What did you say to me? I said go to hell! You take that back, I'm gonna put you on report. Fine, just leave us alone. Oh, there's not a chance of that now. Come on, man, weather! Is this what you call hell? Come on, you wuss. Look up a little bit harder. I mean, if you're slobbering all over, you can't collect dust. Am I right? Yeah. What was that? What did you say again? Put me on report? Uh, what for this time? Insubordination, disrespect, maybe failure to obey orders. Come on, what's your mouth shut, Miner? My neck hurts. Easier said than done with a book in your mouth. I'm sick of doing all this garbage. Let's go. Better stick to your studies. Maybe the only thing that saves you here. What do you mean by that? Oh, I didn't tell you. I want to run you until you build with me, whether you use the extra space. You're not going to believe what I just saw. Did you catch a plebe on the lover's lane again? Merriweather jumping the wall. Did you let it go, James? That's all you ever talk about anymore. I hate that man. He doesn't deserve to be here. And I'm gonna make sure he bilges. Come on, we should put him on report. If you want to report him, go ahead. You're not gonna get me in the middle of this. Come on, you're on duty. You can go and put him on the pop right now. He's a parasite on this place. We should report him. No, James. I'm not gonna do it. I'm with him, James. Just let it go. This is gonna ruin you. Just quit now, Merriweather. It'll make things a lot easier for everyone. I mean, easier for you. You quit. Oh, you just think you can say whatever you want to. Well, I'm not gonna stand idly by while you scan your way to commissioning. Dude. Yeah. 
we have here? A letter from Grandma Merriweather? Let's see if she's as dense as her grandson. Dear Miner, how wonderful it was to hear from you this past week. The money you enclosed was received with much appreciation. How are your studies progressing? Your sister is doing quite well in school. She's nearly attained an overall mark of 3.1. Well, I can see that your sister is as stupid as you are. Oh, wait, no! Don't hit it! That's what he wants you to do! You put on a report for hitting a superior to be dismissed. Don't you ever talk about our family! Oh, calm down before you hurt yourself. James, come on. We're on the guns today. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. I must be going. Come on, later. Let's go. Let's get out of here. What are you doing? One thing I have to do today is support that man, Merriweather. Okay, Ahab. James, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm inspecting. You know you can't inspect someone's closet without the owner present. James, stop. That's where the future merits. You can't possibly be serious. I don't understand. Everyone hates him. This is in the line of duty. I haven't anything to say. And I know you've had trouble with Merriweather, but I don't think you ought to use your authority to get back at him. None of that matters. Let's go. Strong means sane. What? How does he study? He comes in here several times a day just to run me. It's getting real bad. If you hadn't stopped me this afternoon, I'd be on the prison ship right now. I know. Mr. Merriweather? Can I help you? No, but I think I can help you. What's going on? Branch was in here earlier today inspecting your room and he looked in your closet. What? He can't What's do that. I wasn't even here. Well, we found the civvies, and he's pretty set on reporting you. You're not even mine. I belong to Mr. Collar. I'm just borrowing him for leave. You might want to go talk to Brandon before the clothes get confiscated. Oh, you want to talk to him? Take care of this right now. Mike! Branch! We need to talk! That's not true. You're the only one who hates me. So what? You're too fresh, too ready. You're a sneaking trick and a coward. You have some nerve coming in here and talking to me like that. You know how easy I can build you? Get out of my room! And I know your family. You know better than me, Branch. Stand up! I'm not afraid of you, Mary Weather. Hey guys! Now's not the time to handle this. Come on, man. Let's get out of here. Nothing's gonna happen, man. Let's go. I hate that man. James, he called you a sneak and a coward. Yeah, I know. I was here. Well, you know what you have to do. Yeah, I know. Branch did it. He challenged you to a fight. You know what this means, don't you? You have to accept it. If you don't, you'll be silenced by the entire class. I accept his challenge. Set a time and date.
doing good, Miner. You're doing good. Just keep your hands up, hands up, and watch this cross, all right? I wish I was better fit for fighting right now. Don't worry about it. He's no more fit than you are. Just, just stay with it, right? How do I got there? Am I doing okay? Am I doing okay? Yeah, James, you're doing real good. Just keep it coming. Don't let off, all right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, James? Yeah, I'm fine. I think I'm, I'm getting ahead. Yeah, it looks like it. He's getting worn out, but don't get too confident. He's a fighter, all right. Stop! The watch off is coming. Hey, break it up, break it up. Tonight. I'm calling drop. Good fight, gentlemen. Let's get out of here. I'm sorry, Miner. You're a good fella. You're no sneak. And you're definitely no coward. No hard feelings? I hardly feel anything at all. Come on, fellas. Let's get out of here before the officer comes back. James. You have to get up the formation. Branch isn't coming to formation today. This hearing is called to order. Death was not caused by blows with fists. We must get manslaughter's definition. That boy has in him the very stuff the Navy wants. It is well known to every student at this academy that fighting is unlawful. No doctor who testified, with one exception, has ever heard of a case in which death resulted from blows to the head from fists. It has been shown that the fight was unlawful, and that makes it manslaughter. There is nothing in this case, according to testimony of discipline, to show that there is anything in the regulations of the Naval Academy to prohibit fighting. It is absurd to say that they did not know that fighting was not allowed. As I conclude my arguments, I again appeal to each of you to trust your consciences. Absolute and exact justice sometimes becomes the extreme of injustice. 
I rest my case. This court is adjourned. Midshipman Miner Merriweather, in regards to the case surrounding your involvement in the death of fellow midshipman James R. Branch, the following verdict has been reached. For the charge of manslaughter, you have been found not guilty. For the charge of violating the eighth article for the government of the Navy denouncing midshipman Branch and engaging in a fist fight with him, you have been found guilty. For conduct to the prejudice of good order and discipline, you have been found guilty. Therefore, your sentence shall consist of the following, to be confined to the limits of the Naval Academy for one year and to be publicly reprimanded by the Secretary of the Navy. These offenses that you have committed have led to a calamity so clearly unforeseen by you and so distressing that no words of reproof are needed to make you feel their gravity. Your disobedience to the laws of your country, your forgetfulness of the full import of your oath, your yielding to fierce and angry passions when tempted by a sense of wrong have borne fruit so bitter that the worst punishment has already been suffered. The merciful sentence of this court leaves you a member of the honorable profession that you have chosen. In that great school of self-sacrifice and obedience, a life useful to your country will, it is hoped, atone for your grave faults which have clouded the early years of your service. As for the existence of this honor code at the academy, Considerable evidence was offered, however, tending to show that such fights had been frequent occurrences for many years and that had been occasionally called to the attention of the authorities there. And yet, only very inadequate penalties, and usually no penalties at all, had been inflicted on the participants. There can be no such thing as a lawful custom that can justify committing a crime and the fact that through laxity or want of vigilance of persons in that service, other offenders had escaped punishment can in no way justify the accused in violating the law. The Academy must make great efforts to ensure that the circumstances which resulted in this tragic occurrence may never be allowed to exist within its walls again. The archaic and brutal honor code that presently exists at the Naval Academy must be replaced with a new modern system capable of providing for this great country leaders of courage and the highest sense of honor.